What's going on everyone? It's your boy Cotton. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be the third and final part I'm doing on how I edit my music videos. In part 1 we covered how to import your footage into Premiere, properly setting up a new sequence, and syncing up your performance shots to the audio. In part 2 we covered cutting up your performance shots as well as adding some b-roll into the timeline. Part 3 will cover adding some effects, color grading, and properly exporting your video. Now let's get started. So when adding effects to your video you pretty much just want to listen to the song and do what makes sense. If the song's real smooth and, and, and soft, you don't want to add a bunch of flashes and flickers and crazy effects to a real smooth and, and slow song. You just really want to pay attention to how the song sounds, the beat, the words, just everything about it. And, you know, just do an edit and effects around what fits the song. So, let me go to the first point to where I want to add an effect. So right there where she started singing and the beat dropped, I'm going to add the same flash effect that I added in the real video. So to do this, I'm going to go to my levels tool, I'm going to add that to the clip, I'm going to set a mark right here, a keyframe by clicking this little clock symbol, I'm going to drag the, this down right here on the white point. Make it pretty bright. And then I'm going to go to a few frames to where I want it to stop. Right here. And then I'm going to refresh to add another keyframe. So now I added the flash effect. So right there where the next clip comes in, on that beat change, I'm going to add a fade. So I'm going to go to my effects, go to cross dissolve, and add that on there. I'm going to zoom into my timeline a little bit. I'm going to make this just as long as the clip. I'm just doing it to the beat and to the music. I'm going to add another cross dissolve right here. Make this a little bit longer. And so now that the music's picking up a little bit and the and the tempo's changing, I'm gonna start adding a couple a couple little upbeat effects to the video. So right here, aren't you saying bad? I'm gonna make a cut. I'm gonna click Alt because I'm using Windows. And I'm gonna drag this clip up. Oh, try that again. All right, so now I'm gonna right click this clip. I'm gonna go to Add Frame Hold. I'm gonna go one frame over. I'm gonna click where it says Normal on the Blend Mode, and I'm gonna go to Linear Dodge or Add. I'm going to add a keyframe right here, and I'm going to fade, fade this clip out to about right there, and I'm going to cut the end of this clip. Now let's see what we got. So right here I might add another flash effect. Add my levels. Set an endpoint on the white point. Use a keyframe by clicking this toggle animation. Drag it down, make it bright. Reset it to fade it out. Maybe add a fade right here. Go to my cross dissolve.
maybe right here where this comes in where the beat drops add another fade it's a smooth song so you want everything to be pretty smooth Maybe add a, the Levels tool again. Right here. So we'll turn this to about 120. Click the keyframe point. Refresh it. Maybe speed this clip up right here on the beat. Give it about four frames. Maybe fade this clip in. Go to the cross dissolve. Bring this a little longer, make this a little longer. Maybe do that cool little steel shot transition again. Maybe delete this and fade this in. All right, so I'm going to delete this at the end. So now let's see what we got. Alright, looks cool. Definitely not as good as the original video, but like I said, I'm not really taking my time on this. I'm just showing you guys how I do what I do. So now that we've done all the effects, the next thing we want to do is color grade the video. So let's move over to our color panel in Numetri. Click on this. So I'm not actually going to color grade this video from scratch. That would take entirely too long. I will be doing future tutorials on different color grading styles and how to get different looks inside of Premiere. But for now, I'm just going to use some LUTs that I have created for this project. So since I'm not going to be doing a full breakdown on how to color grade from scratch, I'm going to be pretty much showing you guys how to use LUTs inside of Premiere. So what you want to do is click on your clip. Some people like to use adjustment layers to color their videos. I personally like to use Master Clip. So I'm going to show you that way. What you want to do is go to right here to where it says Master. Click on this. Now go to your Creative tab. Go to Look. None. Go to Browse. I'm going to select the LUT I created for this video. So what Master Clip does is it puts it on every clip that's from the same shot, if that makes sense. So if this was if this was a cut right here, but this was the same another another clip from this same shot right here this this clip would be colored as well so right now I put the LUT on but this clips a little too bright so I'm gonna go to my basic correction tab I'm gonna drop my exposure a little bit a little more. all right that looks pretty good All 
All right, I'm gonna do the same thing to the next clip. Click it, go to master, creative, browse. I'm gonna select the look I created. And now I'm gonna do my basic corrections. Bring down my exposure again. Looks like this clip needs to be warmed up a little bit. Bring down the exposure a little more. Warm it up a little bit. Gotta get the match. Same thing to this clip. Go to master, basic, creative, browse. And as you'll see, now that I've now that I have more clips from the same take in the timeline, as I go through, you'll see that they're all colored because I use the master clip. this and this is going to be a perfect example since these clips are side by side browse just the exposure looks pretty good you can see both of these clips are colored because I use the master clip so now I'm going to do the same thing with this Creative. Now I'm going to use the look I created for this shot. Same thing. And just keep going. So once you have fully completed your video, the last thing you want to do is properly export it. So what you want to do is go up here to File, go to Export, Media. We're going to go up here to Format, H.264, Preset. I like to do HD 1080p 23.976 for YouTube. We can go right here to output name to name our video. Editing tutorial. Save. Then we're going to scroll down. I like to do anywhere from 20. To, to about 50 on the bit rate but for the purposes of this tutorial I'm just going to do 20 that's perfectly good enough for YouTube check use maximum render quality and then export that is it
what you gon' do It's feeling so bad, 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 bad I just wanna give you something you never had Static on the TV, only thing that I see Synchronize our breathing, moving to your heart so that's the end of the tutorial i really hope you guys were able to learn something and take something away from this i really appreciate all of the support you guys have shown me on this channel so far if you like the content be sure to click the subscribe button give the video a thumbs up drop a comment share the video with all your friends and i'll see you guys next time